Hey everybody, Happy New Year. Happy 2018. You made it. You're watching The Peter G Show, the greatest divorce and single parenting show for men and women, period. I'm the guy who cares about you and how your kids go through divorced and single parenting. We want to all make it in one piece. And being happy is really a nice thing to do. So here's what we're doing. We're still on holiday vacation, but I would never leave you high and dry for the new year kickoff. So what we're going to do is review 2017. I urge you to check out all those shows from all the past of this year of 2017. They all had great information. There were some great interviews. They all have meaning and a purpose. But first, we have to see how it started for 2017. So we're going to watch the first show of last year to remember how it all kicked off because even I myself and this show had major change. Plus it's pretty entertaining. Couldn't get the baby New Year this year because he's still incarcerated. But doesn't mean we can't watch last year's show. So sit back and enjoy. I love you guys. Happy New Year. It's going to be a great year for all of us. And thanks to you, the Peter G Show is getting stronger, bigger, and we're spreading like wildfire. Love you guys. Peace out. Peter G Show. Peter G Show. Divorce dad. Single dad. Divorce dad. Single dad. Peter G Show. The holidays. Glad you made it. Talked about the holidays, tough, good, fun, not so fun, kind of is what it is. But if you're listening and watching, chances are you survived them. That's what it's all about. Life's not a bowl of cherries, told you a bunch of times. I did a lot of reading, checking out a bunch of people's comments, talking about a lot of stuff with the holidays. My holidays were okay, they were kind of quiet, but they were okay. Made it made it so that's all that really matters because life keeps moving on i uh now i want to talk to you about the new year uh some of you might be watching this right now uh, because uh it's the new year you might be watching this after the new year but either way it's the new year i'm starting to watch a lot of people gripe about the old year it's like I got to tell you, every year I see the same thing. Last year, this year's got to be better than last year, blah, blah, blah. Do you have a roof over your head? Do you have clean clothes on you? Have you eaten? Probably not so bad. Could be worse. Keep telling you that a million times. It is what it is. But either way, the new year, nothing's going to change unless we change. Keep moving forward. I get kicked in the head today. I got kicked in the nuts pretty hard. Didn't want it. Wasn't expecting it. Something out of the blue that I would have never imagined. But it kind of came my way. And I was literally, it, it just blew my day. And I'll get into that in another show. But all I want to say is, is like life's full of unexpected things. Is it survivable? Yeah. But it hurt. And there was just something, again, the relationship stuff, so long as you have an ex... And a, uh, and, and, and a children or child that you're in, you know, that you manage together, things just keep coming. Every time I relax and lay my head back for a second, you know, the minute I relax and think everything is going to be okay, surprise, sometimes not okay. But it is what it is. I'll get through it. You'll get through it. Some cases worse than others. Again, be thankful because if you look around, there's probably a lot of people way worse off than you. But uh, the new year, people are going to make New Year's resolutions. People are going to start doing this. We're going to lose weight. We're going to exercise more. It's like, my question is, why do you have to wait to the first of the year? If you really need to do something, why don't you just do it when you need to do something? I mean, we're all kind of guilty of it. You know, I've done my, had my share of the first of the year or the first of the year. It is what it is. But if I'm going to do something, it's like, why wait that long? Just do it. But, you know, I'm very thankful for a lot of things, too. And, uh... You know, I've learned a few things, and I've, I've been aware of this, but this year, it's been a little hard for me again. It's been a little hard for everybody. I've learned that um, sometimes you got to give up people that you don't want to give up. Sometimes you got people in your life that you really don't want in your life. And uh, you just got to deal with it. And there's not, you don't really have a, ch well, 
you have somewhat of a choice, but sometimes you're going to have to lose people that you don't want to lose and you just the way it goes. And you have to keep moving forward. Sometimes you got people in your life that you really don't want to have in your life and you have to learn how to deal with them and perhaps lose them out of your life too if it's going to help you be better. But you got to make those choices because sitting still is sitting still. The beauty of it is we're here talking about it and we got another year to start doing something about it, hopefully. Except just bitching about it. Now, bitching is fun. I like bitching. When you see bitching, think of me. But as you see, I'm by myself again. Because, as I've said a million times, this show has its problems too. Uh, my life's not a bowl of cherries. Jim's life's not a bowl of cherries. And again, mine seems to be a little bit easier. But there's sometimes you got to say, you know, go take care of business. Family. Family first. This is why we're here. I don't mind doing the show on my own at times. Uh, I'll do what I have to do. But, you know, at, at this point, it's just lately I've been a lot because there's just sometimes you got to focus. And this show, as much as it's, it's important to me, sometimes you got to focus. What's more important? You know, if my daughter was having uh, major issues or I had some serious issues with my children, uh, whether it be health or mental or just emotional or anything like that, or my time, guess who's going to win? This show's out the door. But I've committed and so far so good but you know 2017 whole new year the beauty of it is I got a great surprise to you for you today they tell me that they've managed to book and bring in a guest so I'm not really by myself and uh, Ty is he around can you bring him in hang on just bring him just no surprises right hang on so Guess who I got for you guys today? I got the baby new year. So we're going to discuss a lot of things with the baby new year to see just exactly how life is going to be. For, we're going to predict 2017, which I'm really excited about because who doesn't love the baby new year, right? So Ty, bring on the baby new year. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Not so fast, Taylor. I, 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 you guys said the, you're not the baby New Year. Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm the old baby New Year. I'm 2017 years old. What do you expect? I expected the baby New Year. Who booked this guy? E e Edward, get oh. him, get him over here. I want to talk to him. Oh. So you're the baby New Year. Today I am. The baby New Year is a little long in the tooth, but okay. So hi, baby New Year. Hello there, uh, Mr. Peter G, sir. Uh, so, you're the baby New Year, and... I, I am the baby You've New Year. experienced all the New Year's prior? Two, uh, 2017 of them. How you feeling, baby New Year? Could you reek a booze? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I don't know spring chicken anymore. Yeah. I'm the baby New Year's, right? The old ba spring chicken. Yeah, the baby old baby New Year. So, okay, tell us, baby New Year. How is 2017 looking for all our fans out there? And... Oh, we got big changes. We do. Big changes, changing, rearranging coming to 2017. Good or bad? Depend on how you look at it. One door opens, another one closes. I think that's the other way around. I've had a few doors hit me in the ass, too. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, ah, easy. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, oh. Okay, that's great. Uh, uh, so tell me, how's uh, how's your relationship life going, Baby oh, New Year? Oh, just rosy. Is it? Because yeah, you being rosy. the Baby New Year. You, yeah, well, you tried and dating 2017 different women, you know? One from each year, it's a tough genre. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, it's a tough one. I, I, had, I had my fill. Uh, uh, I like the hat. Uh, I like the hat. You. Very uh, glamorous. We're trying to, we're trying to look dapper. Yes, I uh, appreciate you showing up for the show. Yes. How did you get here, by the way, Baby New Year? I flew, and my arms are very, very tired. Really? Yeah. I'm hoping you at least Ubered because, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily your show had a car waiting for me. Well, that's you know, good. Course, Look so at that. Know. See, we spared no expense here at the uh, show. Yes. And after this show, I'm going to have a long talk with my producer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ty, he's great, man. We yeah. love Ty. Everybody loves Ty. Yeah, yeah, he's looking at me. He doesn't say much, though. He's, he's, the, he's the quiet one. <laughs> this what scares me more. He points. It's, it's Edward that scares me because uh, he's a loose cannon. <laughs> I'm sure you met him. They're, they're all loose cannons. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so let's talk about the past, 2016. A lot of people are griping about, you know, 2016. What was up with 2016? Uh, people do that every year, man. You know. 
No, tell me. <laughs> no, I, they just gripe about how bad it was last year. That is true. Maybe if you think last year was bad, wait until this year. No, I'm just kidding. It's just, but no, I, even the baby New Year had a bad one last year. Two thousand. You did. Oh, do so, tell. So, do tell. You know, well, Trump's our president, but no. Oh, no, easy, easy, yeah, easy, no, easy. No, We're not getting. This is not a political show. Absolutely. I know because no, I got I, a lot of Trump fans, and again, no, I'm neutral. No. I, All good. God bless America. That was my intoxication. Please edit that out. We don't, we don't edit around here. We tell it like it is. <laughs> you know, that's... No, but people are always bitching about how bad it is and whatever. But, you know, most people, I think, if they look deep down, they'll figure out that they're really blessed in many ways. Like you said at the beginning of the show, you have a roof over your head. And, you know, are you eating? You know, you have clothes. You, know, you, you were listening to our show. I was in the green room, yeah. Nice. Nice. Baby New Year's paying attention, ladies and gentlemen. Well, they have. They, 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 and they, I see they. I see they furnished you with yes, a, yeah. uh, a pacifier. Yes. 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 That's they great. Nice refreshments. Back That's great because actually, you know, you bringing in the New Year. I was going to bring in the New Year as well because it's kind of a tradition. Oh. Uh, I didn't know that you were already bringing in the New Year. <laughs> 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 Easy, baby New Year. Easy. <laughs> baby New Year's bringing in the New Year. It's oh, like, yeah. what's today? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, oh yeah, we yeah. Today is the day. Today, right? Today's the day. Close. So it's. A, I see you have a cigarette. Are you trying to quit, or are you just starting, or you've been a smoker? Or, Guys, you know. You know that's that's 2017 tough. Two thousand seventeen years. They keep telling me I'm gonna die one of these days, but I don't believe. Oh, it. I'm willing to. I'm not a betting man, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I appreciate you not smoking in the studio yet. Uh, no, well, as I heard, it's not up to code. So, yeah, it's not, uh, yeah. That, that's a fact. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of codes being broken. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay, so last year was you know good for some, not as good for others. Yes. Again, I'm you know kind of middle of the road. I'm thankful for getting through it. Yes. Uh, again, I do believe that you you get what you put into it. If you just sit there and bitch about it, your baby New Year. <laughs> Absolutely. And, yeah. You know, folks, let this be a lesson to you. Don't grow up to be like the baby New Year. It, that's a fact. Yeah. I, I I've only met you for a few minutes, yeah, but yeah, uh, and you don't know. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you don't know. Walker, Walker. I understand there's some big changes coming for you, though. There is? Yes. Are you going to tell me my future? Uh, Mason Kreskin. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it my place to tell you? Well, I, I don't know. Is it going to be tragic? or? No. You know, I, mean, I, mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm good because I, I do believe in people knowing things and things like that. I don't believe in everybody. You're. Well, I'm gonna I, take you with a grain of salt. <laughs> but. <laughs> so okay, so yeah, this way it could go either way. If I tell you, it could go either way. So it can go either way. Yeah. So if it blows up in your face, man, then I'll fade the heat. If it's a smashing success, then I'll 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 take the credit for all of it. How's You've that? heard it here first, folks. The baby New Year, not committing or denying uh, about ch change. What what about the change in the future? The change in the future. Yes. Yes. The, the, the good changes. Yes. Oh, you brought me something? I, I brought you, yes. Absolutely. What the hell you bring me? I, I brought you I brought you your props, baby. You brought me props. I brought you your props. Oh, he brought me a sign. Oh, oh I'm br I, there's a sign. Yes, it's a sign. Sign of the time. But it says the Peter G. Show. It does say the Peter G. Show. So what are you trying to tell me? Do you notice what it doesn't say? Uh, it's more about what it maybe doesn't say than what it does say. Once again, folks, the baby New Year bringing in the news. So you're trying to tell me that this is going to be the Peter G. Show? I mean, we've been up in the air about this. I'm pretty sure it's in your destiny. Sir. Well, since you made me a sign. <laughs> and the sign said. And the sign Paul said. Here, yeah. Don, do need not apply. Oh, boy. Well, you're out of luck then for a gig. Yeah, don't quit your day. Too. Well, I'm a little bit uh, flattered and dis you know, sad at the same time. Uh, folks. You're seeing it here first. So, Baby New Year's telling me that we are going to switch, and we are going. To, I'm, going to, I'm taking over. That's what the wheels of destiny say. All right. I knew that. I kind of knew it coming down the pipe, and we've discussed it. And I'm good with it because I've always made a commitment to you guys that so long as I can get up and do things today again was another one of those days. I was about to call it a day. Just got hit and just couldn't get my head in the game. But. Um, I'm also, from coming from a musical background, there's also this saying, and which I use a lot because I see a lot of slackers. I got a lot of guys that I like a lot, but they just, they're all show and no go. And uh, there's a saying in the show business, and it's pretty cliche, but it's, show must go on. 
we made a commitment to you. I've worked way too long and hard. Um, again, for me, I have my set of issues and there's times when I just don't think I can do this, but somehow or another I managed to pull through. Jim's been having some things and it's like we sat and talked about a lot of things and it's like you got to focus on your family because he's no different. I'm no different than anybody else. Uh, is it safe to say Jim may come and visit in the future? I hope so. Okay, me too. But uh, you can't call it and do something if nobody's around and, and I kind of get that too. So we made a conscious decision and uh, we're moving forward. But um, there's going to be some gradual change. I don't think I can do this overnight. You know, uh, we'll have to see. What's with the sunglasses? Your future is so bright. I had to put on shades. <laughs> I got a bright future. Okay. Well, uh, I appreciate that. So let's see what we do here. You're telling me that in 2017, we're looking at the Peter G Show. Looks good, man. You wear it well. I look, I look angry. <laughs> <laughs> but, you do look uh, angry a little bit. Yeah, they could have shrunk the head down a little bit. Or but a little but it is, well, yeah, yeah, well, it's it's been a hard year, as uh, you know. IBS is a serious condition. Yes, it is, uh, and a lot of times, a lot of people are full of crap. But uh, that too. yeah, and I can take a lot of shit. But uh, <laughs> oh, thank you. So, baby, New Year. Uh, I appreciate you coming and bringing me uh, the the forecast. Always a pleasure, sir. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, Just don't don't forget about my contractual ab obligation later on. Speaking of contractual obligation, since you are here, I have a little tradition that we'll do. You will do a, a shot a shot to bring in the new year. Uh, who, uh, who do what? Well, I, I know it's probably against your moral ob your moral obligations. I don't know if my ethics will let me, lie. Hang on. I didn't know. They told me they were bringing a guest, and I just took a took a guess at this, but. Uh, being, uh, I had a good friend who uh, came to visit me, and he brought me. I'm Greek. We all know that. Oh, no. I'm not super Greek, but I'm Greek. There's no denying it. Yeah, Take a good look, people. I'm Greek. Come with Greek parents. I'm Greek. So this other Greek that I met, uh, that I'm friends with, he being that he's Greek, it's uh, he knows that my parents came from an island that's famous for their uzu, uh, which is a this will put lead in your pencil. Um, it's I not for the painter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Use a little air there. So I've been hanging on to it, and I said, you know what? The new year, we're going to do a shot. I don't drink a lot, lot, but believe me, uh, as you can, you know, you guys know that live through all this crap, and you'll, you'll, it'll, it'll, you'll get you to change a few of your ideas. But anyway, so he brought me this bottle, and I figured, what better, oh, what better of a time than to than to uh, do a, just a shot of oh wow yeah uzu wow. Uh, to bring in the new year well thank you um, sir. you know this is for you guys you know it's sacrilegious for the baby new year to uh, refuse a, a drink so yes somehow year. I felt that so here's to 2017 here's to change for the positive here's to quit bitching and more doing. And here's to God bless all of us because I'm here for you, we're here for you, and we all lean on each other because that's what friends do. Spread the word. The Jim and Peter slash Peter G show is still going to keep going. Regardless, I don't care what we call it as long as we're here. So cheers and Happy New Year. Salute, my friend. Holy moly. Mm. Woo! <laughs> Tasty. Holy crap. Black licorice. Oof. It's a good thing it's not New Year's every day. Anyway. Now for sure we got to bring this place up to code. Yeah. Uh, I think this is where... Uh, yeah, I think this is where we say goodbye. Yeah, this is my exit. Again, God bless Always you. Always a pleasure. Uh, baby New Year. Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. And, uh, and behave yourself in 2017. As I always do. And we'll be looking for big changes. All right. Nice seeing you. Ladies and gentlemen, the baby New Year. And... Uh, Okay. Anyway. Holy crap. Did this just happen? <laughs> Listen, folks. You get what you pay for. <laughs> I'm sorry. They promised me the baby New Year. Believe me when I tell you I'm going to have a big long talk with my producer. Because he wouldn't tell me exactly. Now I know why. <laughs> 
Now I know why. It's probably all we can afford. Anyway, okay. Um, again. Happy New Year. Don't sit and dwell in your life and what's going on. Figure out what you're going to do to be better. There's a lot of things going to happen this year that you're not going to be happy with too. It's just the way it is. You know, even nobody's nobody's life's a bowl of cherries. I tell you before, I don't care how much money you have. Money does help buy some happiness. But number one, take care of yourself physically, your body. I'm no one to comp to be talking. I still haven't gotten motivated enough to really be kicking my butt to where I want to be like I used to be not too long ago. Your body is the only place you live in, so take care of it. Don't sit and, and, and dwell on all this stuff. You know, hang around people that are going to help keep you together. Don't just cry. Be thankful for the guys who do listen to you, the guys and girls. Women, 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 I am totally on your side. Remember, guys, 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 all I care about is the people that give a shit about their children. So you got to keep your act together. This year, well, now that I've been told that we're making some changes, we got some great shows that are getting ready to come up with Jim and myself that we filmed uh, a few months ago. And we've just been waiting. We want to release them, so I'm a little bit taken. But we're going to use the shows. I mean, the shows are great shows. They're good information for you. But use the information to your benefit. Don't, you know, if you're going to watch, it, don't just keep hitting the like button. Share it, watch the whole thing, and give it to people that need it. Because believe me, I promise you, you're not the only ones needing this kind of information. I needed this information. Jim needed this information. We used to lean on each other, but I've had a lot of good friends in my life, and I'm very, very thankful. So, again, happy 2017. You might be seeing this well past 2017. Whatever. The story and the moral still stays the same. Salute. It's tough. So, from now on, we're going to make some gradual changes. Still the same show. Keep paying attention. My name is Peter G. I'm very thankful to be here. I made a promise to you guys that I wouldn't give this show up no matter what. And it'd have to be hell over, uh, hell over high water. How's that go? High heels. <laughs> high heels. It won't... Uh, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> tie with the jokes. No high heels. Or, it would have to be a cold day in hell before I give up this project and we're going nothing but further along. TV, 2017, we're going for TV, but I need your help. Share the shows, grow the shows, help us make changes. There's going to be pretty uh, good bit of entertainment in this stuff. We have to laugh, but we got to talk about the stuff. Remember, I'm not the guy who holds back. If I didn't tell you stuff to your face that you're not going to like, then I'm not your friend. And that's the problem. I get people and they want to hear me like say, it's going to be okay. Screw that stuff. If I see something in you, and that's just my humble opinion, you can do what you want with it, but I tell you how I feel. Because if I didn't, then I'm not your friend. And sometimes that's what makes me not friends with people. People, they want to hear all this good stuff. It doesn't work like that. But I'm here. You're here. We're all here. God bless you. Love you guys. 